Steve, many congratulations. Superb comeback there. Just up your emotions after that match. Uh, that win meant a lot to me. Like, I haven't been a good place mentally coming into this, so like I didn't know what to expect at all form wise. And like the stage is a hard place to be when you're not in the right headspace. But I don't know, I think when I was two sets nil down I kinda relaxed a bit and that's the beauty of the sets in legs format. I kinda didn't look at the overall scoreline and was just treating it as if it was nil all and just forgetting about the last two sets and I think a bit of experience paid off in the end anyway. You said you have been in a good place mentally coming into this. And how proud are you of the character you've shown to come back from the brink there? I'm happy with myself, but I was even thinking of pulling out of this a, a while ago. Like so, then I watched the first night and it gave me the buzz. So I'm glad I, I'm glad I played in it. <laughs> we don't have to see much emotion from you on the big stage, and we saw by the reaction there how much that result obviously meant to you. Yeah, well, I knew like for the tour card situation, I've been looking at it, but I knew like I need a good run in this, so I knew it was massive for me. You mentioned the tour card situation. Playing in the world is, is enough pressure in itself, but that to try and keep your place on the tour, how tough is it to just try and block that out and focus on your game? Uh, to be honest, I wasn't really thinking of it. I was only thinking about it in the last in the few days leading up to it, but on the day, I, I don't really think about it. Because obviously, like, you still want to do well in this tournament, regardless of the tour card situation. And up next to you in round two, it's Johnny Clayton. How are you prepared for that contest? Probably the same way I prepared for this one. No different, really. At least I have. What, two or three days off, so just kind of relax and get a bit of practice in the hotel and just stay relaxed and just treat the same as this one. And we know Johnny's a world class player, but over the last five or six months he's not been at his best. Do you feel that's a real opportunity for you to progress further in the event? Not re uh, well, yeah, sorry, no, but I, I don't expect him to play bad, like, so I expect him to be on top form anyway. If he isn't, well, that's good for me, but no, if I can just play my own game, sure, you never know what happens. Thanks, Steve. Well done. Steve, congratulations. You touched on there the, the whole tour card situation. And what's the last couple of years been like there? Has it been draining? Because we've seen you at the match play before, we've seen you produce brilliant things. So, obviously, the dipping form, has that been draining? Uh, kind of, like, sometimes I feel like luck is always going to went against me. Like, I think I had a <coughs> decent enough year this year to be on the qualifying with the Grand Slam and players in the world. But, like, there was times where I thought I played better last year and I qualified for nothing. So, sometimes just things don't go your way and you have to just stay positive. Do you feel you can reach the same levels that got you to the match play? Again, is, is that version of Steve Lennon still there? Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully one day I can get back there, yeah. Can you put your finger on why it hasn't quite happened? Not really, no. Just probably lack of confidence. But like you can only get that from getting a good run on stage, which hasn't happened for me for a while. So maybe this is the, this is the time it will happen. And again, mm. looking forward, if you can keep your tour card, you can go into 2024 with so much confidence. And would that be the catalyst that you need? Like being a run here and keeping your car? Yeah, that would be the that's the overall aim anyway. For once I don't have to go back to Q school, I'll be happy. <laughs> Steve, congratulations. Steve, how much was a was it a kick getting into Grand Slam and the players jumping in the finals that helped you propel yourself into a position where you could keep your tour card? That was massive. Like I, I was kind of I had a bit of luck on my side and the qualifier for the Grand Slam. So like. I just, it's a pity I got the draw I did in the Grand Slam because you never know, even finishing like third in the group instead of fourth. Prize money wise, could have made a big difference. But yeah, no, I was just glad to qualify them for them in the end. If you are to keep it, does it feel like the start of next year will be start fresh another two years and see what you can produce? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I think that if we can start the year fresh, I won't be have to think about rankings anymore and just try and push on from here. Big day for the Irish as well. Uh, Radic obviously lives in Cork. He's yeah. Through. Willie O'Connor. Just once. Yeah. Three for the Irish. Oh, that'd be that'd be ideal. Yeah. We're having a practice beforehand anyway, so it worked for me. So hopefully it works for Willie as well. <laughs> Steve, in, in that second set, it was two-two. But we were waiting on thirty-six, or, or we took up the ninety-four. When you went back at the break, how did you mentally pick yourself up, knowing that you were so close to level and then you just took all that? It kind of not caught me by surprise, but like I thought it might put a bit of pressure on him. So when he took it out, I was thinking, like, even though it's his debut year here, he's not really, doesn't seem to be showing that much nerves. So all I kept thinking was if I can just even get one set back, it might put a bit of pressure on him, and then you never know what happens then. With that win, you're up provisionally in that sixth fourth place. Is that just ease a little bit of pressure knowing that your name is at least for now in the green? To be honest, I haven't looked at the rankings too much. So, like, Obviously, I knew this game was important, so my main aim is just trying to do as well as I can in this, and then after the tournament is over, I'll have a look. And hopefully, it won't come to it, but if you was to lose your card, is it straight back to Q School? 
Yeah, I'd say so, yeah. yeah. Steve, congratulations. Thank you.